Hey everyone, it's me, Alanda. I'm here with a um, entry into my junk journal. I shared this when I made it. I haven't done a whole lot of videos on this journal, but I really want to share with you um, more of them because I've kind of gotten away from what my intentions were when I started doing YouTube videos. Um, I used to share a lot more heartfelt and meaningful stuff. Not that I don't share meaningful stuff now, but I really want to get back to just sharing things that were from my heart, and especially after today, after watching a video from Monica, she's BC Doula, and I also watched a pocket full of vintage, or not a pocket, just pocket full of vintage, Marianne, and I was so, so truly inspired by both of those women today. So. Um, I'm going to share, I tried filming this as I was creating it, but I'm not as good as Monica where she can talk and work, like do the whole page at the same time because I tend to forget what I said and I repeat and anyways. So I've um, got a lot of the prep work done, I've uh, created some stuff and I'm just going to finish piecing everything together and then share with you. So Monica did a technique on her page today that I had seen. She had pinned it on Pinterest and then I um, followed. And you know what, my battery might die. If it does um, cut off, I'll just, you know, replace it and um, come back. Anyways, um, Monica pinned this um, pin on this thing on Pinterest and it was creating like an abstract art using um, clear transparencies and I'll put the link down below to her video. So when I saw what she created I knew instantly what I wanted to do because there's this photo in a magazine that I have um, been wanting to use in some way for a really long time and as soon as I saw her technique I knew exactly what it was. Okay so this um, journal entry is about my love of yoga and uh, what it means to me and what my practice means to me and I wanted to share that with you. So this is an older yoga journal, it's from 2008, but this picture that's in it, I'm going to show you. Um, the second, no, okay, this, the first time I saw it, it struck such a chord in me because to me this um, picture of this woman just um, it's more than just a picture. It completely embraces what I want to feel like when I'm her age. So it's this one right here. It's this lady. And she, you can tell she's an older, older woman, you know, just by her appearance. But to me, she looks vibrant. She looks beautiful. She looks alive. She looks strong, extremely strong. This is a really hard pose um, if you don't have strong abs, which I don't, so this is extremely challenging for me, extremely challenging. Um, and I, um, I just love the way she looks. Her eyes look so clear. Um, she just is so strong, and I want to be this um, when, I'm, when I'm older. I, I have, I'll move it out of the way. Um, I have never been afraid to grow old. I just don't want my body to fail me. I want to do the best that I can to honor my body. And um, that's what yoga has done for me. So um, I did what Monica did. I laid a um, transparency, like an overhead projector transparency over it. And I traced her. And then I move this out of the way. I traced her and then what I did was I painted, I flipped it over and I painted it on the actual transparency, transparency, sorry for the glare. I just actually painted on it and then let it dry and then I stitched it down to this pattern paper. And then there was another section in the magazine where the title of the article was Strength and Grace and to me that's what she embodies. So I just did the same thing, laid it over where I wanted it and copied it with the black um, Sharpie marker, okay, and then I stitched it with my sewing machine all around, and I'm actually going to use this to create a pocket, okay. The line of paper I'm using is Crate Paper um, Paper Hearts. It's our Valentine collection, but I really loved the look. Like, these are my kind of colors. I also do like darker colors, but I'm real, like, um, this is just my kind of print. 
so I have just picked a page in my journal and this was already glued down and I just glued this piece on and I inked distress all around okay um, then I took another transparency and let's see um, so you can see it this was of a lady just sitting in a simple cross-legged pose and she's meditating so I just did the same thing traced it and then I just cut it out and then from the cover of the magazine I took from the title I took the word yoga so I am um, going to be just journaling about what everything yoga means to me so um, this collection came with a sheet of, cu of uh, cutouts so I'm going to be using some of those and um, just putting it all together. I've taken some of the paper and I've edge punched it and stuff, so we're just going to work. So um, I started doing yoga um, a few years ago, and I remember when the studio by my house, when it opened up, <clears throat> excuse me, when it opened up, I um, was real excited. I'd always been interested in yoga. I'd always wanted to try it. Um, but I was really intimidating, uh, intimidating, intimidated because I thought like, I'm not, you know, I had all these misconceptions of yoga. I thought I'm too heavy. I'm not flexible enough. Um, I'm not strong enough, uh, just all these things. And, um, I didn't want to go to a class by myself. You know, I was nervous. Like, you know, I did, I just, just wanted to do it but was just nervous so anyways it took me quite a while of passing by you know uh, it's on it's on a street that I often go down and it took me quite a while to finally take a class and I was really nervous and uh, I didn't have a mat I remember I walked in and Frank the owner of the studio and my instructor he's I mainly take his classes because I like to go in the morning um, he was um, really you know really nice really kind um, real um, just real welcoming real warm made me feel real comfortable and so anyways um, I just fell in love with the class like that first time okay I've punched a strip of that paper from the collection I'm just going to be adding it down here on the bottom so anyways, um, he made me, really made me feel at home, and after that first class, I just fell in love with it. Like, yoga is truly for every body, and I, I mean everybody and every body type. Um, it, like Frank always says, yoga is fair in the sense that you completely get back what you give. So what you put into it, you are going to get back. And I have um, gotten so much out of it, I can't even tell you. So anyways, I started going regularly, and I believe the twins were in preschool at the time, and I was going about, I want to say, five days a week, because I loved it, I loved how it made me feel, um, I felt empowered, I felt clear-headed, I uh, felt real creative after I would take a class, like, I, I, I just felt real... Um, like you truly get a yoga buzz and um, I just like it just really cleared my mind and you know so anyways I continued for about I don't know a year or so maybe maybe a little less than that and then um, things just you know came up life work kids all of that and um, I go to a private studio so it can be a little price it no it is a little pricey but I'm gonna tell you it is worth every stinking penny that I spend on it and it's the one selfish thing that I do for myself and I don't feel bad about it so anyways stopped going and um, got back into the same old you know not exercising the whole nine yards but deep in my heart I always knew that I would return and you know I was going to make that commitment so you know after that like I would I would come and go and um take a class here and there but really never made that full commitment that I did this time okay so a couple months ago about three months ago let's see yeah three months ago I went back and when you lay that mat 
it's I have a red mat and when I lay that down on the floor and I am there for my 90 minutes I am so so happy want to make sure these fit I am so so happy can't even tell you I'm so happy I'm I'm honoring my body and on, I'm honoring myself so let me tell you what yoga has done for me um, besides all those you know good feelings and stuff um, I suffer from PMS really bad and um, after I had my twins uh, I had my tubes tied and um, my cycle and I'm you know I'm gonna get a little personal my cycle um, got really really heavy and my PMS um, got really really bad um, to the point that I have to warn my family that you know for what uh, one I'm only normal like I like to say I'm only uh, I'm only normal for one week out of the month and um, it was it can take really take its toll so okay let me tell you what I'm gonna do really quick this is just a strip like a border strip that came um, in the pack and I hope the lighting's okay I um, I'm doing this really late at night I was waiting for everybody to go to bed um, anyways I took a border strip and I'm just going to put this down right here anyways like I was saying um, you know it was really taking its toll on me and I've been to my gynecologist and um, it's always um, you know you're getting older is this the same old to me same old BS it's like why do us girls have to go through all of that so anyways the thing about me though is that um, is hard a time as I have with it I'm very aware when it starts like I can really make a really conscious effort to um, stay away from situations that would get me real upset or try I can like really try to hold my tongue sometimes I don't don't get me wrong I'm a lunatic um, maybe that's a little extreme but um, I'm it's been really tough but um, I'm can sometimes handle it better times than others, you know. Um, okay, and my girl's gonna go right here. Um, but um, I'm real aware, like, I make a conscious effort to um, get through it with as easy as possible, okay? So, um, anyways, when I started going to yoga, um, it really, really, um, sorry, I'm trying to take something out here. I'm going to show you real quick. It really changed. Um, sorry, I'm looking at something. Okay. All right. Um, yoga has really, really helped me with it. It really has alleviated my s symptoms to the point where um, one month I actually started my cycle and I was like, oh, I didn't want to kill anybody this month. <laughs> I, it came, it snuck up on me. I didn't have the cravings for food that I usually do. and um, It was great. So anyways, but um, not only physical, but spiritually and mentally, it has really helped me to see things in a better light and more clear and basically brought me back to what is the most important to me. Um, it's easy to get caught up. I think that's kind of why um, I step back from YouTube and doing videos so often because I got so far away from what my intentions were in sharing videos. I got so caught up in look what I made and look what I bought and look what I did and and how many YouTube videos do I need to do a week that I lost sight of what was the most important to me when it comes to my art and when it comes to my life, my family and all of that. So um, yeah, it really helped me. I mean, I really, um, really changed my perspective for the better, for the better. So. Um, after watching Monica's video today, I really, it really kind of just like hit a nail on the head for me, right? Hit a nail on the head, right? Um, and um, it, yoga has made things more clear for me, so um, that's what I love about it. And I, um, I like what I learned early on from Frank, my instructor. He said um, yoga 
that's why they call it a practice because it's never ending what you learn sorry I'm trying to find that you um, what you learn and your um, your strength and everything like you know some poses are really tough for me like I can do a headstand unassisted but I can't do a handstand for the life of me I cannot get myself up into handstand um, so one week I'll go to class and I'm really struggling with um, poses that are for your hips like that open up your hips and stuff and I'll really struggle and today I went to vinyasa too which is was really tough and I was able to do a pose that I wasn't able to do last week so it's really it, you truly you get back what you give and it's really empowering and and doing those things physically really work on you mentally because you feel so strong and it, it really helps you to cope with other things in your life so and it's um, it's just great I just love it so let me tell you what I'm gonna do and if I repeat myself I'm sorry I like I'm not you know me when I start talking I lose my train of thought okay I have these stamps that I got from close to my heart a long time ago and there are words all kinds of words it's a set of I don't know 30 or so and I picked them out that um, um, describe what yoga does for me or the qualities that it has helped me with so I am or things that I want to do because of yoga so I'm just gonna try my best to hold this still and because this represents me and I'm going to stamp these words underneath uh, all across the body so maybe it's best if I start up here at the head let's see okay so I'm gonna start with truth because um, yoga has helped me um, be truthful to myself um, integrity integrity is something that we all need and I strive to have that um, freedom it has given me the freedom to express myself and grow stronger um, grow that's what I'm just trying to do as a person Let's grow endure um, it's really some poses are really strong and I take that as spiritual and physical because I'm able to endure things longer, uh, hold a pose longer, and um, you know, I'm really proud of myself when you do that. And then it gives me uh, the strength to endure when you know troubles come along. Okay, peace. I leave feeling um, like I've gotten you know released a lot of stress, and I come home with a happy heart. Pray. That's something that um, I do because I believe um, I, I, I believe in God. Um, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Um, and what I also believe in, whatever your beliefs are to you, I respect those. Um, the next one is honor, so that goes along with it. I feel like we need to honor each other and our beliefs and our um our own like as a culture as a nationality whatever like you need to honor um, yourself and others and that whatever beliefs they hold true to themselves that that is their truth and that's that's you know personal and what I choose to believe is what I choose to believe and what they choose to believe they choose to believe and I honor that simplify um, it's helped me to you know to de-stress and not be so worried about stuff love um, it yoga has shown me um, what intense love I have for my for my family and my children and myself happiness um, this has brought me so much joy and happiness and um, excitement and I just love it um, the next one is wisdom. What we all strive for is, you know, more wisdom. Be smarter, wiser. Um, courage. Courage to be who I really want to be and express myself in a, you know, good, positive way. 
listen. I, um, yoga has helped me to be more in the present, like live now in the moment and like listen when I need to and um, just be stronger, you know, like just to be, be, just to be present, be, be here, be now. Um, joy. And I'm going to put, um, the stamp's all crooked and off. I hope my camera doesn't die. Joy. Um, I'm going to put that right on my neck. Joy brings me joy. And my camera might die because I think I can only go 25 minutes on this camera. Um, faith. It's giving me faith in myself and my capabilities. So I'm going to stamp that right there. Okay. So they all fit perfectly. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Okay. So, um... What I'm going to do now is I can't literally glue this down because it's going to, um, I wanted it to be just like this. And so I'm just going to staple it with this long reach stapler that I have. And I'm going to position it right where my heart would be. And I want it right there. And I hope I get this right where I want it. If not, oh well, that's how it's going to be. Trying to get it right over. Okay. Up oh, a little over a little bit. Okay. So that's gonna go right over that. And then I have this little tiny punch out that came with the collection and it's um, a heart. If you can see it, it's a little heart. And it's gonna fit right over top of that. So I'm gonna stop right now because I know that my camera's gonna die and I'm gonna um free up my SD card and then I'll be back to finish it. Okay, come back. Alrighty, I'm back. I have used some glue, the little glue dots like this to attach my heart right there. So that represents my heart right there and then all those words that go along with it. Okay, and then what I'm going to do next is this was a strip left over from what I'd already punched and I'm just going to distress it just a little bit and then um, oh let me my tape let me add some tape on there real quick So right now, I'm only going, I think, three times a week, maybe sometimes just twice because the kids are home right now for the summer, but come um, August 29th, when they go back to school, I'll be hitting yoga probably every day. Alrighty, so my uh, title, yoga, up here, it's going to fit right there at the very, very top, and... I want to hold on to this because this is going to go under just like that and get it straight. Oh, come on. Okay, it's going to go right there. And then I'm going to be stapling that down in a second. But I first have, oh, you know what? I can't staple it down because, um, It'll also can still lift it up from the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to use my Tim Holtz stapler and staple it right there. And I'm not going to worry about covering up the staple because I think it looks fine just like that. And then this was another punch out. I really like it. It's really pretty. And I've inks distressed around it just a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. So. I really hope that if you have the opportunity to try a yoga class that you will and um, look at it um, not only as something you know try not to look at it just as exercise but um, in a different way to you know embrace everything that it has to offer You won't regret it, I promise.
another good thing too is we do pranayama which is like breathing techniques and you know we breathe so shallow all the time we're really good at you know making our breath real short and um, not exha exhaling very well so that's really good relaxation and yoga is not only just you know, oh, I can do a headstand, oh, I can do crane, oh, I can do pigeon, it's, it's not, it's, you know, yoga can just be meditating, I mean, the benefits are so far reaching that, you know, you don't, maybe one week you don't want to do any asanas, you want to, you just want to meditate, and you'll still get all those benefits. So, okay, and then I have this flower, this punch out came with it. And I'm going to put it right there. It'll kind of hold down this thing. Okay. It's going to go right there. And then um, I have my little Dymo label maker. And I'm going to finish up the title. So this is going to be... I'm going to spell out the word my... yoga's there already and I'm going to say my yoga story I'm definitely going to be doing this technique again with the um, transparencies because I think it's awesome okay so let me go ahead and peel that Trim it down just a little bit. It's a little bit too long. Okay, my yoga. And this will hold this down. My yoga story. Ah, it's a little crooked. Oh, wow. It was actually really... Um, well, for me, exciting. I was honored. Uh, my yoga, Frank, the owner of the studio, asked me and a few other girls to, and yeah, a couple other students, to write testimonials about yoga, and they're on the website. I was excited. I was honored. And because uh, women of my age, I'm 45, um, you know, we suffer from. I hate to word that word. It's so strong. We. There's a lot of things that can ail us that are physical that only women um, go through, and we, you know we can we need all the help we can get with certain stuff. And so, um, if I can inspire someone to use yoga as a source of um, relief from certain things, I would just absolutely love to do that. Okay, so then I've taken all these other cute little punch outs that came in the collection and I just want to like kind of scatter them around here so let's see I'm going to ink them up just a little bit there's this lady that I usually see her once a week They're usually on Saturdays and she her name is Dora she's older than me but oh she's just so good at yoga I truly aspire to be like her, I told her, um, she's my hero because she's just, just amazing. Like, you know, just to see her do some of the poses. So, but I'm really getting better at like not being hard on myself and, um, not thinking like, oh, I can't do that. Cause like I said, I'll go one week and I can do, there's something I can't do. And then I go the next week and then I can do it or I can do something different and I'm good at it. And, you know, I can hold a pose longer without ha having to come out of it. And so every, every class, every week is just a, another, um, accomplishment. Okay. So I think I'm going to put these two big flowers on, um, these glue dots just to make them stand up just a little bit don't really mind where they go because I'm just going to kind of scatter them around
rest of them, I'll just glue down. Just do them random. Let's just do some random gluing here. I was happy to cut the papers from here and use some of this. I like what Marianne says in um, one of her videos where she says like to not hoard. What does she say? Experience or something? It's her um, in her recipe for happiness. It was really nice. I really really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed listening to her. And I love listening to Monica. I could listen to her all day. Her and Roxy, truly, I, I'm so blessed to have them in my life. So truly blessed for a lot of things. I'm grateful, that's for darn sure. Okay, we've got one more. And we'll put that over here. Okay. So I'm going to do that, and then... um. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a few things right here. Like I think there's one quote that I want to write. And I'm going to just journal a little bit over here. But what I'm mainly going to do, and I won't be able to finish this now, but maybe I'll come back at a later time and show you. I'm going to take these tags and I'm going to decorate them, add some trim. And I'm going to journal some stuff and slip it in here. And I want to save all, you know, make a whole bunch because... Eventually, I want to add some photos of maybe some poses that I've, you know, accomplished and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. And then in that magazine that I showed you, there was um, like 20 things you can do now to make your life happier. And I want to put those on here. And I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to end with another um, little Dymo thing. It's something that we do say in yoga. And it's Satnam. And I know I probably won't explain it exactly correctly, but basically what it means is that you want to be your true self. That everything you hold, like your, you know, all of your, all of your beliefs and everything inside you, that you want that to be that your true self. here on the very bottom. I move my camera. Oh, I'm just going to put it down here. So. And then I, I might cut out, punch out a couple flowers, but I'm not sure. Anyways, so there we go. And like I said, tags will be in here for me to journal. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I hope you can take away a little something from what I shared. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.